We get more hints that point to the launch date of iOS 7. New leaks see a Samsung Galaxy Note 3 with 4K video recording capabilities. And if you missed the Nokia Lumia 920 on AT&T, there's always the Lumia 925. I'm Jaime Rivera, and if 4K video recording means more acne being shown on camera, I'm going to stick to 1080p. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with the official news as the Moto Maker service for the Moto X is now available to everyone. You don't have to walk into an AT&T store to get a special card to be able to buy the phone custom made. And if you're interested in anything that's not AT&T, you can also buy it contract free as well on Moto Maker, which is great. Now, if you're interested in getting it on another carrier, well, Verizon is getting it on August 29th. And in the case of T-Mobile, that will be September, even though that is not custom made. And speaking of AT&T, those of you that were worried about the Nokia Lumia 920 being discontinued out of the blue, well, AT&T just answered your prayers as the Nokia Lumia 925 is going to be its new replacement. Pre-order start tomorrow. You can pick the phone up on September 13th for the same $100 after a two-year contract, obviously. And for those of you that are interested in more Nokia phablet rumors, well, apparently Lumia 1520 is going to be the code name or the final name of the phone, so stay tuned for that. And let's move away from the launches and start talking about those little rumors that are out there about the Galaxy Note 3. First of all, we get the first leaked photograph of the display and uh, yeah, this is pretty much a Galaxy S4 on a bigger size. That's pretty much the way it's going to be. And even though we're not getting optical image stabilization, a new rumor talks about this phone getting 4K video, even though many of us won't be able to afford the first 4K display in the next five years. Anyways, let's see how that goes. Now let's talk about Apple as we've got some conflicted reports about iOS 7. First of all, we did hear the reports that it was going to be launched on September 10th, which is the rumored date that the iPhone 5S is going to be launched. And well, as it turns out, we've got some other reports that state that the Gold Master candidate of iOS 7 will be launched on this date, which has happened before. But then in the same case, you know, there wasn't a Gold Master candidate for other versions of iOS as well. So we still don't even know if the event is going to be on September 10th anyway. So again, these are just rumors. And finally, for the, I'm going to call these interesting news of the day, we've got some more reports of a Microsoft Surface 2 in the works alongside some Nokia tablets. Yeah, not just one, more tablets. Links in the description for the full model numbers, but interesting. In the case of this Surface, it's not going to be running Windows RT. Thank you. But in the case of the Nokia tablets, these are all going to be running Windows RT, sadly. And it's kind of hard to make anything out of these rumors, but that leads me to the question of the day. Are you interested, want, or are considering any Windows tablets right now or in the future? Um, honestly, in my particular case, I don't see much buzz after Windows tablets. It does seem that Windows 8 hasn't been as hot as we were expecting it to be. And that actually includes me. But leave us a comment down below. What are your perspectives on this operating system? Friends, as always, for an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Everything gets published on the website before this video gets recorded. You can also follow me on Twitter at Hyde underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.